Well, hey there, you're on the internet. I'm unemployed, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink now, shall we? Today's ink is by Sailor, one of their gentle inks. Today's is Gentle Grenade. It's uh, sort of a dark... I'm going to call it dark pink. It's not quite red. It's not really a purple. Now, the word grenade is actually not like the explosive, but like the French word for pomegranate. So if you think of grenadine, which you find in Shirley Temples or other mixed drinks, uh, that's actually pomegranate syrup. So if you think of that color of syrup, that's kind of what color this ink is. Now, the two pens I used were an italics in a broad cursive stub, Parsons Essential, and a Hero 616 that admittedly I did broaden out and wetten just a bit because it was kind of scratchy. Now, to start out, got the chromatography, which was f kind of fascinating, actually. Uh, it seems like there's just a little bit of everything in there. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of water resistance, uh, lots of pink, good dark reds going into almost a purple. Admittedly, I didn't really see any yellow or orange, but apparently it's in there somewhere. So let's take a look. Starting out with the most dense paper, Claire Fontaine's 90 grams per square meter. Uh, it was a good shader. It was a really good shader, actually. Uh, here I tried to lay it on pretty quick, or er, thick. <laughs> and uh, here in the italic nib, that's where you sort of start to see some of that, like down here, like at the bottom of the letters, it's kind of lighter. And up at the top, it's a little darker. Hopefully that'll come through a bit better than it is on my tiny little screen. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the water test, it was messy, but you can still read it. It's still there. Uh, the paper actually started to come apart, so it was really in there. Dry time was about seven and a half seconds, so uh, seven and a half seconds in the hero, nine seconds in the italic. So here's Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter. Here, I feel like you got a much better example of the shading, like especially here in the word grenade. I'm going to try and zoom in so this make it a little shaky. And up in Sailor and Gentle. And yes, that's how they spell gentle. Dry time was pretty impressive considering how dense this paper is. And the water test was not as impressive. However, where it really soaked into the paper, it managed to stay for a while. Uh, up next is Mead Notebook Paper, which is sort of general school paper here in the United States. Here it was lightened up and it looks a lot redder. Um, there was still a touch of shading, but really not anything to write home about. The dry time was very impressive. Um, the water test was messy. That was bad. Yeah, it was explosive. It was bleedy. It was... And it was pretty bleedy on this paper, but what was impressive is, so see through here where it's not as bleedy? You flip that over, that's actually the italic nib. The italic nib did much better on this cheap paper than the rounded hero nib. And we got Tomo River, where you can definitely see the shading. I'm gonna try and zoom in a bit. You can definitely see it there especially in the italic nib. And the water test, considering it was Tomo River, was also fairly impressive. And the swab, you see some of the potential. Uh, dry time, I forgot to test because essentially I ran out of room, but it was pretty much on par with how the ink was doing so far. So Tomo River makes for pretty long dry times. However, it was drying fairly quickly so far, so I'd say it was better than average. I'd give it that. Next is copier paper, just your basic 20 pound. Uh, here, this was impressive. Here, you still got shading, and you got shading in the stub, and you got sheen. I'm gonna try and 
I'm going to try and capture that, but it's especially up here in the eye and the italics. It's it's a gold sheen. It's almost like the poor man's version of J. Bond's Rouge Hematite. It's uh, a dark pink, almost red, with a gold sheen. And it sheened beautifully on this paper, more so than any of the others, which I found absolutely fascinating. Water Test was, again, very readable. It wasn't... It didn't expand, but it did get kind of pinkish and messy. Up next is the moleskin paper. Uh, dry time was not great. There was some expansion. Um, bleed through was pretty bad. Uh, okay, so copy copier paper, no bleed through. Moleskin paper, definitely bleed through. The water test was disastrous. As you can see, it's completely warped the paper. You can actually read it on the other side. It's a mess. However, again, the stub seemed to really perform fairly well. It did, you got some shading. There was not much feathering. It did not expand as much as it did with the rounded nib. It really did pretty well. So I actually have come to really like this ink. It was my first time trying out Sailor ink, and I'd say that judging by how this went, I definitely consider more because uh, it behaved well on cheaper papers. It gave sheen on copier paper. It dried quickly. It had good shading. It it pretty much had it all. And uh, the ink bottle comes with a weird little doohickey inside that you probably won't be able to see, but it's in there, that uh, makes it easier to fill especially piston filled pens. So that's a nice little thing. It's a stout little bottle. So it doesn't tip over easily. I'd recommend it. And uh, so long from the Triple N Network.